Guys, I'm the Metroflex, about to smash shoulders with Martin Ford. We've been chatting for a while. Uh, you know what? We've been chatting for a while, and you know, I'm very excited about this session because I know you're going to beast it, I'm going to beast it, and just have a great session, man. You know how I do it, and he kills it, which is going to kill it, man. I get my enjoyment so that's and, and I think that's where the strength gains are made so that's why I try and stay hitting those kind of sets quite frequently so what we've done we've done I'll include the, the set before that which was the 50s 50 kgs but we did that for a set we've done these which is about 60 for a set um for, for two sets and we're gonna go back to hit the 50s again so you're staying heavy you know you're staying heavy you're getting you're getting that volume in you know and I, that's why I enjoy it man and that's why I think the strength gains actually happen Hey, I'll be doing very much heat training at the moment, so I'll hit like two or three warm-up sets and then we go into a real hard, so we hit four or five repetitions on our own and maybe one or two reps slightly forced, not too much, and then really focus on the negatives. Um, so it's, it's nice to switch your train up and obviously this man knows what he's talking about here in the mug. <laughs> we have different, different styles. Which is why it's nice to collaborate sometimes, of course. Um, I mean, it's, it, it, it's nice to watch how other people train for their gains. I'll never look like this many, I'll never look like me. But we don't want to, which is why I wanted to get this session done, just so you can see and show people that it doesn't matter what you look like, when you start, get in the gym and just express yourself. The main thing is just to freaking kill your session. So, you know, he can kill it how he kills it, I kill it how I kill it, but it's killing your session. So, Everyone's gonna have different rep ranges, different um, set set ranges, and just completely different styles. But the main thing is intensity. You're only gonna grow with intensity, you know. You can't just go to the gym and just do, you know, regular training. Yeah, had a good session, and think that you're actually really gonna get good gains and grow from that. It's fine to do if you know um, growing in, like massive isn't your, you know, your. Your, your, your goal, because it's not everyone's goal. Some people go just to, you know, have a quick session, you know, get, that's what'll be fit, you know? But my goal, I'm sure Martin's goal, is to, is to make progress, man. Yeah, and the only way you want to progress is to friggin' kill weight. Yep, yep. Up, come on, find this. Yes. Yes. So we just finished doing our presses upstairs. I've always said with shoulders, and with most exercises like chest, etc., all pressing exercises, I like to do two at least, you know. So I've like, got a chest day, I'll do my flat, and I'll do my incline. Um, with um, shoulders, I'll either do a shoulder press with dumbbells or a military press in front of the neck, and then I'll do, I'll do another press. I always get two presses in, you know, and I feel that's more volume, uh, more intensity, so I like to do it like that. What we're about to do, we're about to do a military press from behind the neck. I know it's unconventional, a lot of people don't really do it, but if done correctly, and you know, you don't do it heavy, do it to a weight that you can manage. It's, it's, a, it's a brilliant exercise, so that's what I'm about to do. Yeah, that's 
the things that, that, you know, that, that I hated are the things that I'm trying to do now in excess. So it's things like military presses, uh, barbell curls, anything that I hate, yeah. I'm doing in excess. And the reason being, I've trained 15 years, I've got my physique to a, to a certain to a certain point doing probably the stuff that I enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to see what reaction my body has when I do the stuff that I hate. You yeah, know, so let's see, that, that should give me, you know, some growth, you know, like, obviously if my body's built how it is doing the stuff that I enjoy, now there's exercises, and there's probably a reason why I didn't enjoy them, I probably weren't good at them, yeah. you know, I probably weren't stronger. But yeah, actually, you, you just have to enjoy your own doing and become strong. Of course. Ego takes over. Exactly that. And exactly that. Yeah. So we're good to see the development now, working on, on the stuff you don't enjoy, how your body can change, and then maybe even switching in back and forth. Exactly. I mean, obviously you know, from when you've trained for years and years, like, you got, you got to spice it up. Mm -hmm. You got to spice it up, man. I, I, I was saying earlier, like, I feel so much different just after 15, 20 minutes of following your routine. And I think this is why a lot of guys that train don't like following other people's routine. Because you know you're coming up against someone who's, who's fit. Mm -hmm. and, and this is going to be seen by probably at least 10 people. So, <laughs> <laughs> so no one wants their ego smashed in front of uh, in front of people, but at the same time, if you're not challenged, if you don't push yourself, how are you going to become exactly. a, better, a better person? Exactly. I, I don't care who's strong, who's this, who's that. I've got a lot of respect. That's why I've drove oh, right. three hours down after filming for the last three, seven yeah, weeks. <laughs> because it's, it's, you know, it's something I want to do, and not just for, for people that are watching, but for, for myself, to, to learn how the best in the industry do it. And you can, you can appreciate that. This is why he, he is who he is, because he does things that people don't want to do. No one wants to hurt themselves. No one wants to push themselves hard. Um, and especially when you've got to do it day in, day out. And then the pressure of the media and his followers, why don't you look like that anymore? Why don't you look like this? Yeah. That's always yeah. in the back of your head. Yeah. Especially, especially for you. I, for me, mine's more films now, so I can have different shapes, I'm always going to be tall, I'm always going to have tattoos, I'm going to be, yeah, I can come in bigger or smaller, and it, and it doesn't matter so much, but when you're such an icon like yourself, you've always got to carry a certain shape, a certain body fat, and a certain look, and that's pressure itself, so it is, but luckily, for me, like I always say to people, um, keeping the shape and stuff, it's, without sounding arrogant, that's the easy part for me, yeah, because yeah, yeah. the diet, is something that I enjoy. So yeah. food, it's, it's, I'm never. And I'm there to play a Of course, I'm yeah. I'm not. Now yeah. I start when I started training. I was a skinny ripped dude. Yeah. Now I'm still a ripped dude with just a bit more muscle. Yeah, yeah, Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not. I, well, I, I didn't say earlier. Like, look at his waist. He's like that big. And I think a lot of people don't understand until they see it that your photos are real. <laughs> it's just that you don't comprehend how small <coughs> you are in certain areas, which then enhance you at how big your shoulders look. And, and, and it, you know, when you see it in person, you can understand, you know, that's, that's some good going. That's, that's, that's impressive. And I think you've got to see, like, people have obviously seen other shows, mm -hmm. but you're wearing a vest, you're wearing, wearing this. Yeah, yeah. But then when you train with a person, mm -hmm. and you're like, hats off. Mm -hmm. You've got to put it very quick, it's true. I appreciate it. I wasn't talking about you, like, I was talking about someone else, but... Oh, I got it! <laughs> <laughs> Yourself, man, you know, I'm gonna get my little break, and also the thing I say about breaks people say, How long did you give yourself a minute, two minutes? That's all irrelevant. I'm gonna give myself as much break as I need to perform the set effectively. That means whether it's a minute or two minutes, I need to be able to do the set. There's no point in me rushing back in um, without my recovery and not being able to do it, it's just a waste of my time, and I'm not gonna learn anything from it. So, a little bit more, get myself ready. You still need to have that little, you know, that little bit of a challenge where you know. You're not fully ready, so that you, can, you know it's, it's, it's intense. But I am gonna let myself recover for you know a few few more seconds, and then go and give it, go and get it. See if I can get you know a couple more reps on that weight. And then after that set, I'm gonna take the weight down and just rep out. Bring the form back to 
to pretty near perfect and just get a few reps and then done. Let's go! Imagine we're probably going to hit at least you know, four or five sets here. So we'll start off warm, get some blood pumping in, um, and then probably hit the last couple of sets real heavy. Again, form is always important, important on laterals. A lot of people cheat up way too much weight, um, and then just let the negatives drop. If you're going to do heavy, heavy reps, you've got to make sure you take it down nice and slow and get a spot to help you up. Don't just start swinging and bullying it, you'll get hurt, and you're not going to get much growth out of it anyway. So I'm going to watch, sit back, and see how my man does it. Um, and then I'm going to probably copy and follow his, uh, his technique and routine. So there's a few options where you can do them. I like to go heavy um, as I can for three or four reps and really focus on the negative uh, and then get the last couple assisted. I'm not sure what we're going to do. No to me, we're going to be doing 20 reps, 10 sets. Um, so I, I look forward to this. Now we're going to do something a little different. We're doing, um, obviously we're doing our lat raises, but we're going to do a super set. So we're going to do some heavy ones, six seats, and then we're going to do some standing with just the plate from behind, get the full range, nice little tempo. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Um, because that was a super set, that's it, you know, we don't need to do the, 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 the high volume, the high volume was in the super set, so we're not going to do that eight sets on that, you know, that was just three sets, back to back, you saw the intensity, you saw, you know, it was, it was a lot of work and that's that done for there. So uh, what we're going to do next, you know, when I did my last shoulder video, a lot of you guys said, oh, how come you didn't do any rare delts in that, that video, or how come you didn't do any front delts? The, the sessions are not always the same. You know, so if I don't do a specific front front um, anterior delt exercise today, it doesn't mean I don't usually. It's just what you can fit in the time you have allocated to train. You know, so today we did our heavy presses, we did our lat raises. Our delts have, our delts have really been killed. And we, we hit two pressing movements. So you got to remember the two pressing movements. I was in predominantly the middle, but you're using a lot of front delts as well. Exactly that. Exactly. Especially downstairs, I, I could feel my front delts popping. Um, and every single rep, so believe me, just because you haven't done your standard boom, boom, yep. boom, yep. doesn't mean we haven't hit all three heads. Exactly. Because yep. they are they are so full. Um, and especially doing the amount of training that you do. Yeah. Yeah. I can appreciate probably looking back at my own training a bit more now. Oh, I need to switch that bit up. I need to get that back in. And you know what, it doesn't matter how high up the game you get, there's always people you can learn from. <laughs> but in all seriousness, even even when you you become who you become, and I don't know what is to speak for. This is the man in fitness who's leading the way. No, 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 listen, yeah, let me correct that. I'm just a regular guy like you guys. The only difference is I'm putting myself out there to, to maybe motivate someone yeah. else yeah. to come up. No different to yeah. anyone else, man. Yeah, it's it's just, I'm just like any other guy in the gym. The, the difference, but the difference putting, I would putting say content out to is that you've done. done 15 years and, yeah. and you've earned the right to appreciate what it's, what it's got. Um, and and that's, that's why. He's got the results, it's dedication and commitment, and, and that's, that's still, the, the amount of dedication and commitment he still has, even though he's where he's at, 
is why he keeps growing in the game. Training, training yeah. for me is the most important thing. Yeah. That's, it's for me, it's, 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 it's where I get my enjoyment, man. So yeah. that always comes first for me. I mean, I'm you know, you, you see me heavily involved in all this other stuff, but just remember the training came first. Before you guys ever heard of my name in the industry, I had 10 years behind me of training. You know, I, I probably had my name introduced into the industry about 2012. You know, I already had more than 10 years training before that, you know, so the training is what I focus on and it's the fundamental, yeah. it's the most important. Sure. You know? Now we're going to go hit some um, face pulls, get those rare delts in and then we're going to hit some shrugs. I've seen some pictures on um, Martin's Insta of him shrugging, so I think that's one of his good, good points as well, so we should have some fun after. <laughs> using the straps. If I, if I can do it with chalk, I do it. Um, I used to use straps on um, things like uh, deadlifts. Um, I don't anymore because, you know, I just tested it out. I tested it out with chalk and I'm, I'm, I'm strong with chalk, you know? So, um, as much as... The, the, the main thing to remember though is when you're doing something like a deadlift, the main thing you want to train is your back, you know? So, if you need the straps to, 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 to grip the bar to get that lift, do so, you know? Um, but I have been recently trying to avoid it as much as possible where I can. You know, if I need it, I use it, you know. Uh, with this weight um, for shrugs, I've, I've done it many times and liquid chalk seems to do me well. So um, I'm going to go with the liquid chalk. So, you know, if you haven't tried liquid chalk, try it out, man, because you know, it's not as messy as having, you know, a bag of chalk in your bag. Just put it on, give it a little blow, good to go, man. <laughs> Someone, you know, it can be friends, but you never know how they can actually train. I've loved that session. That session was perfect for me. That's, you know, the intensity, bouncing off each other. That's what I love, man. So I've had a fantastic session, man. Um, you guys obviously can see how much we killed it. And yeah, it's just enjoyable, man. I don't know much else to say. I had a wicked session, man. Love it.